it anymore. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> Hopefully everything's working. I'm checking my bitrate again, ma making sure everything's good and Gucci. Um, let me check my microphone real quick. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I am, I am back. Um, Festivia 18, I will hydrate. Um, water. I promise I will hydrate with water at some point. Um, but right now I don't actually have a water bottle next to me. So I will alleviate that. Um, I just want to start off with two things. One, if it sounds like I'm lisping, I have a sore on my tongue and, um, it's uh, really painful to talk at sometimes. Um, I did put some like medicine on it earlier, so it's like kind of numb too. So if I sound like I'm lisping, please ignore it. I'm sorry, <laughs> bear with me. Um, it hurts, it hurts uh, my tongue and it's desperately trying to get away from my teeth. So uh, I have to enunciate certain things very purposefully and it's kind of painful, but I'm trying my best. Um, Always, I have captions. Closed captions are always on. Obviously not super reliable um, all the time because technology can only go so far, but I try my best um, if you need them because I'm just not being able to be understood. Hopefully that will help you. Um, also, uh, my trigger warnings for Blackwell Legacy. Um, I, I for, almost forgot to do them last time, but I was dealing with a lot of technical issues last Monday, so that was like a whole thing. Um, but just for at the top, um, this game deals with death. Uh, there's a ghost character, so there's ghosts if that's um, something that bothers you. So some, some of these are more content warnings rather than trigger, trigger warnings, but um, I try my best. So um, there is um, there is a moment of animal abuse I heard. I, I think it's pretty light, if you want to call it that. It's not, it's not um, like gore or anything, thank God, because I don't think I could handle that myself. Um, there is talk of suicide. Uh, implications of suicide, um, hospitals, and some misgendering. If you want more information, um, highly recommend DoesTheDogDie.com. That's where I got this information. I forgot. I thought Does the Dog Die was only limited to movies, which is why I wasn't really using it. I was just kind of trying to figure out the trigger warnings my, on my own. But um, Does the Dog Die is a great source if you want more information. It's actually more specific than I am being. I'm trying to be a little bit less less spoilery. Not that they were spoiled spoiling a lot, but just write it there at the top if you need them. That is what you are getting yourself into and what I'm getting myself into. But we are going to be playing some Blackwell Legacy, which is a point and click game. Um, it's like a, I think it's like a mystery, but uh, definitely in the vein of old classic point and click games with, um, you know, wacky uh, cause and effect type things to try and solve puzzles. Uh, really, I, I've always liked um, that kind of game, so. Let's, uh, let's just jump right in, I guess. Um, I've figured out, I think, I'm pretty sure I figured out all of my stream issues for now. Um, but y'all let me know if volumes are not good, if mic somehow stops working, because good lord, it wouldn't be a Breezel bit stream without the technical difficulties. Gotta sprinkle those in there. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to start all this up. Let's switch on over to my, my game screen over here yeah we profesh come on i know you want to open up you can't wait you can't wait for it wadget i haha -ha. i know it about that kind of because of ai the somnium files anyway once again my campaign to get everybody to play ai the somnium files it never ends oh midna's here per the use here she comes to get her attention She's being a bit of a brat today. Very, very much uh, needing attention. Very much trying to eat my hair. And very, very cuddly. You're a brat. Yes, I know. You're very cute. <laughs> anyway, say hi to everybody, Minna. Can you look over here? Look over here. Look good. <laughs> All right. Go on. Don't knock my lights down, please. All righty. Blackwell Legacy. So, um... I really don't know much about this game other than what I just described to all of you. I don't know the character names. I do not know the plot. 
Uh, I just know that this is also part of a series. Gosh, my tongue is like, eh. it's like a big, it's like swollen too. I took some ibuprofen earlier today to try to get it to go down, but like it's, I'm sorry if I talk weird. It's only temporary, I swear. Um, all right, new game. Look at those classic. I would like to activate in-game instructions. Um, in addition to on-screen instructions, you can view the instructions by clicking the help button. How thoughtful of them. Ooh, day one. <laughs> that little shipyard says Brie on it. Or it looks like it says Brie on it. So, oh, it's voice acted. It. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Oh. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Damn, I didn't know this was fully voice acted. Wherever you are. What is that, Pier 17? That looks like San Francisco. I've been there. Oh. Ghosty. Wadjet Eye Games presents. I know that font. It's Arbamarl Swash, I believe is what it's called. I use that sometimes at work. <laughs> Rebecca Whitaker, Abe Goldfarb. Ian Schleifer. Ed, I, oh shit, that was too fast. I like this. It's very, very old game. Classic. Classic. Oh, that's New York City. I thought it was San Francisco. That pier looked like one of the piers in San Francisco. Oh wow, look Good at this morning. cool guy. At least I'm home now. Interacting with objects. Um... Uh, to interact with objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and left click. There is a strange kid standing in front of Rosa's door. Try interacting with him to see what he wants. Will do. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. Okay. There are bars over the windows. Okay. Um. Teenager. What are you doing? You should. Hi there. Um. Hi. So who are you visiting today? Uh, oh. Express surprise, laugh it off, make an inquiry. I guess I'll make an inquiry. What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Excuse me? State the facts, question his presence, appeal for sympathy, or grudgingly take your leave. I'm gonna state the facts. Really, I live. Here. I'm gonna be straightforward nice with him. Try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. What about you, asshole? Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Jim. Where's the regular <laughs> doorman? <laughs> hey, Jim. Strike. He's what? Right. All the building servicemen in the city are dead. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. I don't like this guy. What about the strike? How long is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know. I don't want to give him my address. I guess I'll appeal for I've sympathy. Had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. What an asshole. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. <laughs> Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. <clears throat> it's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? That's true. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Threaten Violet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, I don't have the proof, so I can't show my proof. I guess I'll ask for help. Okay. I have no ID, and you don't know me. 
What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. Who talks to their How neighbors? Do you here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Yeah, exactly. Okay, whatever. Well, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Who's Nishanti? Who is this Miss uh, Nish? Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma, who lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. <laughs> so I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You could look for her there. Restate the obvious. Threaten violence or grudgingly take... I'm gonna threaten violence. Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you gonna stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 programmed in. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. This is pretty ridiculous. So, let me get this straight. I'll restate the obvious. You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there, and if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Sounds like point-and-click logic if I've ever heard of it. Stupid. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. Grudgingly take my I'll leave, I suppose. See you around. Activating the inventory. Rosa is carrying something. Let's see what it is. To activate it, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Okay. I have a letter. Looking at objects. To look at objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and right click. Rosa has a letter in her inventory bar. Try looking at it to see what it is. Okay. Let's look at it. Dr. Donald Quinton, Bellevue Medical Hospital. New York, New York. Maybe I should give him like a New York accent instead of this weird British thing that I'm doing. Uh, Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Quinton, or Dr. Donald Quinton, aunt's primary care physician at Bellevue Hospital. I've seen you. It's your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Good God, that was a long ass time ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office anytime. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Donald Quinton, MD. 2006. Long time ago. Well, okay, I guess we're going to the park. Uh, is it this way? Is it, is it this way? Is it... Oh, I guess I have to go this way. Poor Rosa. Oh, uh... Oh, it's a psychiatric hospital. That explains why she was there for so long. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Been a while! Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. No doggies? Can I sit on the bench? What is this? Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Oh. Hmm. Uh, to the fountain! Mm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Oh, jeez. Puppy! I don't think so. I don't think so. I can't... Well, I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. Oh, it's Nishanti's dog. Okay. Oh, a little French bulldog. What a cutie pie. Look at her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. Is she putting the... F oh, wow. Uh, excuse... I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. <laughs> Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. Uh, I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Uh, oh, whoops. I clicked out of my game. My bad. Um, can I go? I can't go any further this way. I feel like I'm gonna have to, if they extend. 
Can I get it to wrap around the pole? Oh, there it goes. Oh, poor doggy. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. Wow. Okay, I did it. I solved my first puzzle, I guess. <laughs> there. All better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you. The lady next door. Oh, yeah. she does recognize Hi. me. Cool. Yonda, isn't it? Oh. No. Rosangela. Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. I'm gonna compliment That's the a pooch. Cute dog you've got. It's cutie pie. Isn't he just? Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Aw. Oh, great. I love anyway, that expression. Taken a shine to you. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, <laughs> right. Hello! Um, Hello! Yeah. Oh my gosh! I have a Red Camo! Thank you for the resub! I appreciate it! it. What Seven months! Story. Wow! Still Thank you! Yes, Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? What is your yeah, favor? That's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? oh. Do I need to check a message so or some of some kind? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting Oh, okay. Okay. I will check it. Home. I can't really Thanks. navigate out of this game or, or it'll stop, but I promise I will check it. I promise I will check it later. Mm. I I appreciate job opportunities. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Ooh, artist gig thingy. I'm happy to do those. <gasps> Hello, Jim. I'm Hello, happy Sharma. to be thought of. Jim, this is Rosangela. <laughs> she lives here. She does? Okay. Sorry about it earlier. Had to be sure. A syrupy sweet response, sarcastic response, or angry response. Hmm. I'm gonna do a syrupy sweet response. Oh, it was no problem at all. Do you want anything else? Milk or orange juice, perhaps? <laughs> um, never mind. Just get out of my way. See, I feel like the syrupy sweet one was just as sarcastic as the sarcastic one. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yeah, I guess. How nice. Looks like somebody's hungry. Aww. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Good doggo. Polite response. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? <gasps> you got sushi? Oh, I'm jealous. Place. Go enjoy your sushi lunch. Home. Thank you for stopping in. Who do you have? Well, what? Uh, I'm going to try to make a joke. Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, <laughs> ILY! Love you too. Myself and I. Um, it's a joke. Yeah. I get it. Very funny. Oh, I'm that's sure awkward. Fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rosangela, I'm sure. That was hey. creepy. Yes. Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rosangela's kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. I can't tell if she likes me or not. Strange lady. I'm like scared of her a little bit. Uh Can I I'm not knocking on some stranger's door. Okay. Can I knock on the elevator? Oh, okay. I can use the elevator. No, I would rather I would like to go back to the apartment. Um can I knock on Nishanti's yeah, door? Yeah, she invited me to come over, but so soon? I just saw her. I can't just invite myself over now. Besides, I'm more eager to see my own home. Fair enough. Um, well, I guess those are my options. Home. Thank God. Mood. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. Uh-oh. <sighs> <coughs> ring, 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 Hello. ring, ring, ring. This is Dr. Quentin from Bellevue Hospital. Yes. I was your aunt's primary care physician. Did mm -hmm. you receive my letter? I sure did. Yes, I received it. I haven't had the time to come by, though. That's all right. I'm sure you're busy. 
However, should you find the time today, my entire schedule is free. I... sure. I I'll keep that in mind. Damn. Thank you. Good day. His I entire schedule is free? Bothering me. I suppose I should just get it over with. Uh-oh. Clippings! Find where they are. What are they, though? I just wanted to look at them. Just some old book review clippings. Ah. My computer. It's a bit old, but it lets me access the internet and do my writing. Hmm. Just a trash can filled with crumpled up novel ideas. Ah, so she's a writer. I don't need to take the trash out. It's not even full. I'm gonna do um, some writing. I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Okay. This is the only living plant I own. I bought it two years ago. It's still living despite my total lack of care. <laughs> I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Teddy Griff bear. Is fine where he is. Oh, his name's Griff. That's Griff, the PI bear. Oh. I've had him as long as I can remember. The PI bear. He's in horrible bear. shape, but I don't have the heart to throw him away. No. Uh, hmm. Look at his photograph. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. Oh God, she's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> Auntie Lauren. She took care of me after my parents died. Oh. For most of my life, Auntie Lauren was a vegetable, slowly rotting away in a hospital bed. I don't remember what she was like before that. This picture is all I have to go by. Jesus. It's me. I look scared out of my mind. I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I look about four or five years old. Young Rosa. No. I used to talk to this picture when I was a little girl, but not anymore. When I was a little girl, I'd try to talk to my younger self in this picture. I was trying to give myself advice about the future. It didn't work then, and I doubt it would work now. Jesus. That's dark. And sad. It's fake, but kind of pretty. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. It's a fake. I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. This TV was here when I moved in. Okay. I must have watched all these a dozen times. A movie I'm buff. not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. Okay, then. Cabinets. Uh, there's some flowers on the table that I can't look at. Curtains. Let's look at the out cabinets. Out of sight, out of mind. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Okay, can I have some tea? Just a standard stove oven combo. Oh, whoops. Cook. Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Girl, you depressed. <laughs> no. You depressed as hell. And a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. My window with the curtains firmly shut. I guess that I'll... That leads to my bedroom. It's an oversized closet, but it suits me fine. To the bedroom, I I'm suppose? I'm not ready for bed. Okay, I guess I have to go outside then. I guess we're going to the hospital, because that's really the only option I've got. Wait, unless... I can't remember who lives there. That door leads to Nishanti's apartment. I guess I'll come over now. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Okay. That's Nishanti's dog. Come here, boy. Nah. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. Moti. See ya. <laughs> Bye. You know I spoil you. Go get it. Ah. Alrighty then. Um, guess I can't really look. Oh, he follows me. Um, so I'll make small um, talk. Awkward small talk. Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Um, 
I should thank Thanks her. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's oh. irony. I suppose so. Oh, uh, what about so the flute? you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. <laughs> Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see you. Well, that's nice of her. That dog is adorable. Mochi he sure is. is. Spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every <laughs> two days. Oh, jeez. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give <laughs> Save. him Save! <laughs> you have a very nice apartment. <clears throat> Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. Anything about the neighbors? You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. <laughs> well, it's not taboo, exactly. It's just... Oh, I know. Just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Bruh, that is, she is an extrovert. Like, okay, I can't relate. I can't relate. I'm so not... <laughs> Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Extrovert. Oh, he loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Mm. Why did they close down the dog run? Yeah, I was wondering about okay that. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I notice these things. I could tell the things weren't quite right. Something in the air. Uh -oh. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. Ghosts. What was there to be it's gotta be ghosts. I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Let's feed Can Marty. I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. <laughs> uh, well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. I don't think Come I did it, though. You'd like. Um, oh, I have hey, to go over wait. here to talk to the dog. Offer a treat. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. Ah. Someone wants a treat, eh? He wants a treat for getting a treat. Go get it. What a cute dog. I can't. Can I walk past her? Can I go in her kitchen? Can I raid her fridge? Hmm. Nice little kitchen, a nice little. Well, uh, bye, Nishanti. It was nice talking with you. I guess we gotta go to the mental hospital now. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was creepy. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. 
A fuse box. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. Yeah. Can I fix you it? You need a key to open it. Ah, okay, that's important. What is this, a helpline? Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. Midna, what are you doing? I don't have anyone to call. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. What is this? I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. Why not? Actually, don't Some do that. That's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> what does it say, though? Oh, who's this? It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Oh, God. What is this ugly ass Whoa. voice? Hold on there. Oh. Sorry. If you want to go in? I got to clear you first. You got to clear me first. Well, got to let him clear us first. Just a small transistor radio. I love transistors. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I need any of these keys. Uh, hmm. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. Cool. It's the security guard for the hospital. Hello, sir. Um. I'll ask about the lights. The lights. Hey, old buildings, you know. Always got problems. Yeah. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. Give me a headache, let me tell you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. Let's see. Let's ask about. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care. No, she was in long term. Yeah. It's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. Okay. So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? Yeah. It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Gotcha. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? Yes. I've got this letter right here. Yep. Okay. Looks legit. Looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. Fancy a doctor's office. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Come in. Come in. You got my letter, I trust. I sure yes, did. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Uh, not my mother, but I'll do a polite Thanks, correction. She was my aunt, not my mother. Quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. Yes, I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? That voice sounds so familiar. I'm gonna do the expected I'm response. Fine. Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm fine. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. Honest. To response. be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her, or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Cause your family. Oh shit, that's, a, that's actually an option. Cause your family. She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I had to. Yeah. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead, life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews. That's all you can do, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. What the fuck does that mean? That's... Really creepy, Dr. Quinn. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Your intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and <clears throat> you proved to be, 
shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with her. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. I'm sorry, mine too? My condition? Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with a family history. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, four gathers. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I'm so I'm not sure why the alert didn't pop up, but, but thank you. you. I appreciate have. it. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize. I just assumed. Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. So, I had a grandmother. Okay. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Okay, what about Auntie's condition? You never condition? could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating fascinating I don't understand forgive me I speak from a purely professional perspective I didn't know your aunt personally neither did I but fascinating it might come as a surprise to you but yes but she was practically catatonic all she did was lie there for 20 years she'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent but I wouldn't call that fascinating well as you know she wasn't exactly catatonic we kept her sedated Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm. Especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Yeah, what the hell? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. Okay. We are trying to heal your aunt. And to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie. We tried to. Did she answer back? Yeah. After a fashion, yes. What did she say? Hold on one second. I want to see why my alerts... That's so strange. I got a sub alert, but I didn't get a follow alert. Is something not happening with my alert box? I'm just going to test my widget real quick. <laughs> Testing a uh, follow. How weird. That should be. Okay, there's a test alert for you, I guess. <laughs> Four gathers, I'm so sorry. That's uh, that's your alert because my other one didn't work. <laughs> that's so strange. I'm going to have to report that to Streamlabs because that's just not supposed to happen. Anyway, Auntie's if words. Auntie spoke. Why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming, her hitting herself. I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember... In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. 
But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? Yeah, what kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open. She thrashed. Her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh my God. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Jesus. So what should I do? Yeah, if that's going to happen to me, okay. what? This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. Uh, I mean, you couldn't find any other link between the two cases. None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A, a name? name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal. But there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? Yeah. We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. So we gotta find this Joey. I guess I'll leave the office. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, <coughs> you're Excuse the me. beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents, and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop it any time. I'm always happy to discuss just... my favorite patient. Sure. Our favorite patient. Okay. Bye, bye. I guess we're going to storage to get my aunt's stuff. Uh, where is storage? Can I ask the guard? It's the security guard. Thanks. Uh huh. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on there. I can't go around the corner again? You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. You've already cleared me, my man! Whoa! Hold on there. Uh. Hold on there. Oh my good god. You I'm not stealing. Okay, well. I guess I'll leave. Unless. Looks like an internal phone. I don't have any. Uh. Oh, I guess I can go use the elevator. Duh. Oh. Can I go to the bedroom now? I'm not ready for bed. My computer. Can I write? <sighs> I am. Maybe to make today. It's just not. Oh! What is this? Envelope. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Um. What does it say? Dear Lauren, so you've been at NYU for two weeks now and have not called. I'm sure things are bi are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. Things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his big sister. I admit, I am still a bit nervous about you living in New York by all by yourself. You are carrying your ID with you when, like, when you go out, like I asked. You know me. Just being a mom, somebody has to. Keep your head on straight kid as your dad would say and remember that you have a family back home that so she does have a family wait that was lauren lauren oh this is 1960 lauren is auntie right so hello sis i'm writing this on my new saint Clair model xv xv that's 15 I'm an idiot. I should have just said 50. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mom says that improving my handwriting is a lost cause, so she got me this. Keen, huh? I've... Typo. Already typed up a few stories on it in this letter. Can't type for long because Dad says the noise drives him up the friggin' wall. What does he know? So how is life in the big bad city? Troy's dead boring, as usual. 
Why'd you have to go to college, huh? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving. Dear Lord, well, Thanksgiving time has come and gone, and so have you. In just two short months, I can already see you evolving into a capable young woman. You have outgrown this small town, Lauren. That much is obvious. Jack will be following in your footsteps soon, I'm sure. Visiting you in New York is all he talks about. Talks about. Speaking of Jack, I know you are worried about him. We all are, but don't feel that it is your responsibility. You are a sister and you love him, but he's he has got to learn to live without you eventually. You are growing up. Let him grow up too. Till Christmas, love mom and dad and Jack. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case mom or dad over here. Mom's been acting odd lately. It started a few days after you went back to New York. She was drag... <clears throat> She was dragging me shopping when she suddenly screamed and fainted. She was pointing at the corner of the room, but there was nothing there. We brought her to the hospital, and she says she's fine now, but she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. Dad's no help. Can you call and try to cheer her up? She won't listen to me. Just don't tell her about this letter. I just hope she's okay. Uh-oh. She's starting to see paranormal entities. Lauren, you seemed concerned after our last phone call. I just wanted to write and reassure you that everything is F-I-N-E. Let us know when you are coming home again for Thanksgiving. With love, Mom and Dad and Jack. Dear sis, Mom is getting worse. You said, it's, you said it best during Thanksgiving. It's like somebody is watching over her shoulder. Paranoia. She sits by herself for hours, pretending to read when it's obvious she isn't. Lately, she's been covering her ears as if to keep out a sound and closing her eyes tight. Dad's losing patience with her. He's convinced she's lost her mind, and I'm starting to agree. She refuses to get any kind of help. Why can't she see that there is a problem? This isn't normal. Not normal at all. Why can't she see that? I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of scared. Scared for her. I don't know what to do. That's really difficult. Lauren, it has a name. Mom locked herself in the bathroom this morning. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else there. But there wasn't. I listened. I couldn't understand it, but she did say the name Joey. I asked her later who Joey was, and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, if you know what's good for you, you never mention that name again. Oh, that's haunting. This could be the key. If we find out who Joey is, maybe we can save her. Dear Lauren, well, it's done. The final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot but it had to be done. Mom has now been committed to a mental ward. I have to say, I am relieved to know, I, re I am relieved, I know how you feel about it, but you weren't there. You didn't come home to see her screaming and tearing her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cuts were all over her face and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked, I just closed the door and waited outside for dad to come home. It was awful. She clawed at him, clawed at his face and drew blood. It will haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming out, Lauren. I don't think Dad and I could have handled it on our own. She kind of drained us, you know. Can I come to New York and visit? I need to get away for a while. Jesus, that's rough. Congratulations, summa cum laude. I always knew you were a smarty pants, sis. Now you've got the documentation to prove it. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the weekend. It was just like old times, except you weren't smoking then. New York is an amazing city, and Columbia has a great campus. I can't wait to move down there in September, but until then, I've got to deal with our grumpy old man. He's insufferable as always, ever since Mom, he's been hard to talk to, and very hard on me. I should tell him you're smoking now. Maybe then he'll concentrate on you for once. See you again soon. It's happened, Lauren, just like you eventually said it would. I'm in love. Her name is Maria. She's from Italy, and we met in statistics class. She asked if she could copy my notes because her hand was tired. We ended up having lunch, and we've been inseparable ever since. She's incredible. She's got the most amazing red hair, and I want you to meet her. I'll come by soon. Lauren, are you alright? Ever since Mom's funeral, you've been hard to reach. I know it's been hard on us, but it's been six months. I tried calling, but you never answer. Came by the other day, but you didn't open the door. I knew you were there, Lauren. I could hear you. I risked using the spare key you gave me, but you changed the lock. Come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. We won't ask any questions. Just come. Mom by might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister. Jeez, this is sad. Lauren, who is Joey? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joey. Is it a boyfriend? Are you thi- Ow, I just bit my tongue again. 
Is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joey? Is that why you've dropped off the map? Or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. I don't- Wait, what? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sake, talk to me. Oh, I see. Is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what that something else is. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I am not sorry. I didn't know- I didn't want to do it, but you left me no choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you was the only option left. They told me some odd things. You won't talk to me, but you'll talk to total strangers. You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours and talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. He heard it, and so did I. Not that any of it made sense. That alone is disturbing enough. But then he saw you collapse. You were all alone in some obscure park in the Bronx when you just fainted. Oh, is that the park? Oh, God. He was about to call an ambulance, but then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. You were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you. <sighs> this is a letter back. Oh, my gosh. Jacko, please stay away. Don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done, and I am the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. All I can say is that I understand our mother more than ever. She was never crazy, Jacko. Trust me on this, and take some comfort in it. You've grown up, and you've grown tough, and you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister. I am returning your letter because I refuse to accept it. No, you don't need to fight my battles. I'm not 14 years old anymore, but we are still family, and that's important, especially now that Dad is- Ow! I just bit my tongue again! Huh. Ow, that one really hurt. <laughs> this is why I have sores in my mouth, y'all. <clears throat> especially now that Dad has died. Look, you obviously have something going on, and that's fine. I don't have to be involved if you don't want me to, but I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are getting married in November. You are coming. No stupid excuses. Midna! Crawling all over my desk. <laughs> Greetings from Greece! If there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write to say that I'm glad you made, to made the wedding, of course. All right, Mitha. You can get down now. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write to say that I was glad you made the... Of course, I'm still worried about you, but someone ha somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says hi. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Oh, okay. Dear Aunt Lauren. Yes, Aunt Lauren. You're an aunt. I'm a dad. Maria gave birth to a be beautiful baby girl. We named her Rosangela. After Maria's grandmother, she's so quiet, she hardly cries at all. I'm all set to spoil her rotten, but Maria says take it easy. She looks just like her mother, and there's a bit of you in her eyes, too. And mom and dad. Oh, gosh. My <laughs> mic, sorry. I've got a kitty in my lap now. <clears throat> God, I'm so sorry, y'all. Life is changing so fast. I just want to hold on to this tiny creature and never let go. The future is an exciting place, and I have everything I could ever want. I don't want anything to change ever. The law offices of... Dear Miss Blackwell, it is indeed within your legal rights to take cust... Custary? Cust custary? I think, is it Custody? of your five-year-old niece. With the death of her parents, you are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we will start the necessary paperwork. Linda, don't eat my hair, please. Uh, can I look at the pictures? Oh God. Hello? Ms. Angelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a little Rude. assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. Call it a girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany House, the oh, NYU but... dorm? Whee! Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. 
But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so oh, you damn. get cracking. I hate him so much. Yeah, he seems like Is an freelancing asshole. for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Jesus. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Oh, there's the pictures. Rosangela's notebook. You can now use Rose's notebook. To access the notebook, move the cursor to the top of the screen to activate the inventory bar, and then click the notes button. Okay. Hold on. Oh. I don't want to ruin the picture. Is that my dad? He looks so young. Hmm. I always pictured my dad as being older. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, she's a total stranger. I wonder what she's looking at. Well? Using the notebook, Rosangela will write down various clues during her adventure. To get more information about a clue, move the cursor over it. Okay. So Joanne, NYU student living in the Brittany house. Joanne committed suicide recently. Your boss asked to get a photograph of Jay. Okay. Can I get my ID? That leads to my it's an over. Can I? I'm not ready for bed. I feel like I'm supposed to have my ID, though. Hmm. Okay, or not. Um, hmm. Sorry, I was just checking something real quick. Okay, well, let's go on to the uh, Brittany Hall dorm, I suppose. Ugh. Ooh, that music. I feel like hell, and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. She's getting senses. She's probably like a medium or something. Looks like a fire alarm. The sign reads Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilbert. The sign says Adrian Tucker, resident assistant. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. The sign says Sandy Chen and Sonata Munier. Okay. The sign reads Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. It's a drinking fountain. Can I get some water? Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. The sign says Kelly Hawthorne and Joanne Sherman. Oh, Joanne. The sign says Shelly Chenoy and Sarah Almale. Oh, I like her. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I've told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Bruh! I only want a few minutes. I don't care. I'm busy. I don't care about what you want, and I could care less about Joanne. Yeah, that Just much is obvious. Go. It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're psychoanalyzing me now? What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. I guess that was the wrong answer. Never mind. Forget it. Yeah, right. 
Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Okay. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Combining clues. By now, Rosa has a number of clues in her notebook. Rosa can combine clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. To combine notes, left-click on one clue and then left-click on a second. Okay, wow, this is like actually a mystery game. Like, we're actually solving shit. Cool, cool. I can, I can get behind this. Um. Hmm, no, I don't see any connection. Okay. Um... Joanne seems to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Okay. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. Okay. Let's try to get that photograph from her then. Yeah. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Yeah. I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack. Good cut. So jo <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sure. That didn't help at all. Maybe I should go get more clues. There's nobody home. I guess I'll go knock on other doors. I I'm supposed to talk to the RA as well, aren't I? There's nobody home. There's nobody home. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Well, what if there's a photograph of her? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? Do yes. You know her? Well, I am the RA for this school. <clears throat> I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Damn. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Sure. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked for the fire. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Um... What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Yeah. Kelly, have you met her? Yes. yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Good for her! Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes oh. to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. 
Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. Damn. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Hmm. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor, and yeah. you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Oh. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Well, I'll leave it out of the paper, but I'm not going to leave it out of my uh, quest for knowledge from Kelly. I'm going to ask her some questions now that I know that she doesn't fucking sleep in the room. Yeah. So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. <laughs> Looks like Adrian's been talking. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Yeah, it's the way it should be. <laughs> so... Okay. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get- Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you- Think again. Hmm. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sh Wait, is, so am I supposed to connect them now that I know? So... Wait a minute. Yeah. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else. Yeah. How can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Boom. I think Kelly was lying to me. No, really? Um. Hmm. No. Hmm. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Maybe Adrian has a photo of... Could Adrian have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Oh, no. Adrian lives a few doors down... Okay. Okay, I think I'm starting to I'm starting yeah. to get the, the flow. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So, how would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? I want to know about Joanne. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. She was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet. Not much there. Just a typical Ooh. college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. I couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I think these people are getting possessed. Off, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use the photo of Joanne if you have. Yeah, one. I'd really like that. All right, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Thank you. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need to. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background. Oh, thanks. Suit yourself. Okay. Well, that's thanks really all I need from her, I suppose. Um, hmm. Can I look at the photo? Joanne's photograph. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. Maybe I could... I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. 
I don't want to ruin the picture. Okay, so let's talk to the RA about it. Maybe he knows who the other girls in the photo are. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Hello. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. Yeah, Is you don't have okay? to freaking ask it like that. Oh, so, what do you want to know? Uh Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jo she died. It was a bit there would make sure. Can you tell me I if you want to know more? Mm. They really thought you were a girl. Yes. Could you tell me Well, no she uh, she her Well, uh, that's all. Thanks for Just remember. Wait, I don't I assume Hmm. I the guess sign read Sarah Kaplan in Can I knock on the doors? There's nobody home. Looks like a fire alarm. Um, why not? Ugh. Uh oh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Okay, so that was really all I needed to do. So I guess that was just practice. I guess I can't really go to the hospital, can I? Uh oh. This is getting bad. Something's about to happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. My computer. Uh. Nope. No one. No. No, I... No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. I guess right. I'll... No more interruptions. Write my article. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Uh-oh. 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 No. What's... What? What is happening? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that noise. <laughs> it's spooky. It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... Like... <gasps> what is that? What's happening? What is that? What is happening? What's going on? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no. I did not just see that. What was I'm that? I'm not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. That's all. <gasps> what the fuck was that? What was that? What was that? What is happening? What is happening? Hello, bright eyes. Who is that? Hello? Why do they always do that? Bruh. Oh, that's Joey? Hello, Joey. So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? Right thought as much. Black willed Danes. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. That's creepy. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. Bruh. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What the fuck? What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just <Wait>. no. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up, honey. Shut up, shut up, shut up. No, 
You shut up. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. That's so spooky. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn say you, my you name, know say my, my name. name. Now say it. When no you're, one is around yes, you. You're Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I witness Warn. me. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Uh, I kind of want to do an unaccepting response. What's the confrontational response? Who are you and what the hell do you want with me? Okay, that's fair. You don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. Joey what? Malone? Maybe is the Blackwell legacy, darling. Roll credits! Down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Uh, I'm going to reaffirm my so sanity. I'm not going crazy? Nope. Ain't that grand. Why have you been haunting my family? Yeah, what the fuck? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's Kinda. a real ugly word. Answer me. Why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. Called it. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... What? I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. <laughs> Took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. Damn! But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? The dog park? You mean the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Yeah. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's, What's the, the hurry? hurry? Oh my god. <laughs> you wanna end up like your aunt and grandma. Wow, I actually said it at the same Was time as her. Because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I guess. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. <laughs> I see what you did there. After you. Can I save? That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep. And hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Oh, God. Hey, wait. Is it gonna be scary? It's probably gonna be scary. Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now, look inside there. And look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. <gasps> what the fuck? Wait. I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Um. Be charming? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. I'm gonna let her be. It's alright, take your time. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 
he wants me to help him, but I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't, can't. We run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. I'm gonna charm her out of it. Beautiful when you're angry. Has anyone told you? Oh, God. No. You won't trap me again. Again? He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him. Who? Him. Now look, darling, sweetheart. This is not making any sense. Lead me. Hey. Lead. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer. Yeah, that was vague as hell. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Yeah. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, you gotta be a little bit kinder. Pretty. Oh, day two. Day two. Uh, what an odd dream. Ah, oh, sweetheart, no. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Uh, rude. Have you been here all night? Where else am I going to go? I can't leave your side. Doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on. Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Damn. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What made a mistake? mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? Bruh. I have the right to know. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. Yeah. You accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Let's do it! Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. I can show you the world. Here, take a hold of all this. All the creepy I can touch it. ghosties. Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? It tickles. The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. Oh, now he's being so nice place? to me. It's the doorway to infinity, There's darling. a fruit fly. Goodness. Out there, in the distance, the next world, the next plane of existence, the gossamer threads that separate this world from the next, whatever you want to call it, it's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be Ooh. more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. 
Uh... Is that dangerous? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. Okay. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I, I dig. I, I do dig. <laughs> I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. Okay. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Um... What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. What about... Are you okay, Joey? Yeah, are you okay? Hey, dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. Interesting. You're wearing your tie again. Yeah, what's with the tie? How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than okay. I'm a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget <laughs> logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. Mm, there I wouldn't no be so sure about that if I'm supposed to be solving this. mysteries. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Alright, what so about what about the park ghost? The, park? the one from last night. Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. I think I've learned enough. Okay. You sure? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let, let's get out of here then. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, okay. we have to find out more about her. Second, right. we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Okay, well, well how do we do how that? How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Ooh. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. Ugh, oh, yikes. Um. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. What else can we do to learn the photo? Um. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? Yeah, that's, that's the tricky part. <laughs> Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. Okay. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard everything. Enough. Yeah, let's get going. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna save here. Um, can I? Oh, I've just okay. Um, let's do. Uh, first, first playthrough. Woo! 
Save. And then, did that, is that saved? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna save one more time just to be absolutely sure. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna end it here for now. But this is fun. I think I'm. I, I think I'm gonna like this game a lot. Uh, yes, I want to quit. Um, this this game seems really up my alley. So uh, I'm excited to like get more into the the ghosties and the and the mysteries and the all that jazz. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. So um, anyway, thank you guys for um for joining me on this Monday stream. Uh, sorry, that I, I think there was like a little section where like I was online and it cut off and I had to go online again. So I'm sorry about that. But um. I don't know if that messed up my alerts and I need to, I'm going to message like Streamlabs about that because that's not the first time that's happened and I really have no idea what, what the dealio is. But um, f uh, four gathers, thank you uh, again for the follow. Um, I just want to, one more time too, thank you Ren Camo for the resub. I uh, really appreciate you guys' support um, and uh, I'm glad to have you here. I will be streaming again on Wednesday at 7. I will be working on more art. Um, same art commission I was working on last week for Source Hill. I'm going to be drawing some more people for his movie poster. So it's going to be super fun. Um, I'm going to chill with some music and just draw, draw, draw for a couple hours. Um, and then I'll be streaming again on Friday after Wednesday at, um, at 7 as well. Um, my schedule is posted on my Twitter. Um, I always have my schedule posted on my Twitter. Also, if anything happens, extenuating circumstances, changes to the shindig, um, that's always on my Twitter. Uh, art goes on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. I do cosplay and fun things, little shit posts on TikTok if you want to follow me there. I'm on all the social medias, and I have a running archive of all my Twitch VODs on YouTube if you want to subscribe to me there. But uh, yeah, thank you again for tuning in. Um, let's see what's happening on the interwebs. Is anybody... Uh, Hmm, no one's really streaming that I follow right now, so we'll have to save it for next time. But uh, thank you guys again, and I will catch you on the flip side.